Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri. Welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. In this tutorial, we briefly cover simulation option in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, there would be another more comprehensive tutorial talking about simulation. Uh, if you recall, last tutorial, we created uh, a geometry like this. This is actually it looks like a steering wheel or could be also... Uh, a valve opening and closing uh, device we would like to use a simulation here uh, before I go to simulation I want to also uh, tell you about an option that you have so if you go to tools and then you have the mass properties here so this is a very uh, handy feature you press that so it gives you quite a bit of information here so it gives you the mass gives the volume, gives the surface area, uh, it gives you also the center mass and for example the moment of inertia so lots of uh, valuable information uh, here and you will have perhaps so aside from what you use as appearance cosmetic appearance you can also define a material for this part and here is what you have so if you haven't used that it says bill of material you can uh, click on it here right click and then you can edit the material and by editing the material so let's say for example here you want to use steel and then you want to use uh, stainless steel ferretic often used in automotive industry and click here apply and close and now it shows here this is already stainless steel and if I go again and I open tools sorry, if I open tools and I go mass property there will be different values here of course you see the mass is much uh, more is much heavier than uh, the actual uh, what we had before which was rubber so uh, this is as far as the use of material concerns now in terms of simulation let's just go here we go to tools this is one way of doing it there are other ways we can talk later and go to simulation express so it opens for you, it maybe take a couple of uh, seconds to load it. And now you start here. So first thing comes first. So you have to decide when you want to do simulation, you want to apply the load. Of course, you should have a fixture. So somewhere here you should have a fixture. And go add a feature. Uh, in this particular case, let's just make, let me magnify that. I would say this is my fixture and so as here so as here so this part is a fixture cannot move so the next is you go here so you can add either load or you can add force well let's just add force in this case and so you can you can see as I click on any of them I can apply the force so in here maybe I apply the force right on top of here and and it asks you how much is the load in what uh, system SI is good let's put 50,000 Newton as a load here you could have per item or you could have for the entire uh, load can also reverse that in this case of course you have a compressive load there so this is good load been defined and then you go next so you can change the material here so it's already been defined you don't need that so this is the material you have young modulus and you have yield strength so if you're not familiar with that so yield strength is where material starts to deform plastically and when you design something you never go to the yield strength because materials start to deform and 
electricity form is not uh, recoverable as a result the entire uh, structure would be uh, not sustainable so then go next and you can change the setting or run the simulation here so it may take a couple of seconds it also may tell you that your mesh setting is not good in that case you have to play with the mesh setting that improve that in the next uh, while then we have a more advanced and comprehensive tutorial uh, in simulation and discuss about value simulation uh, we'll cover that so you have to be patient here depends on how fast your computer is and how complicated your uh, geometry is it might take up to a few minutes hopefully it won't take that long here it takes about maybe about a minute here so okay it's good that this happens here and uh, you can see this we have a failure here so the mesh failed so in this case you have to go and you have to change the mesh density here and let me just make it finer so as you see I, I reduce the mesh density the reason of this happening here so sometimes because you have a very detailed areas here and this is the intersection here is very detailed so the mesh density that you have chosen or is at the default being chosen is not uh, as small as gives you an accurate uh, result that's why you come with this uh, error code that says the mesh density has to be uh, reduced of course when you do reduce the mesh density it goes to a more complex and lengthy calculation and unfortunately they take uh, a little longer so hopefully This time we have a better outcome. So far is good, and actually it worked. So let's see. So we go to the next, and we do the run in the simulation. So Oops, press it here. I didn't set the right. Yeah, I should have pressed it twice. Um, anyway, it's coming up. Now, here is my simulation. And of course, it's not quite realistic in terms of the speed. Uh, but this is how it works. So, assuming this is fixed here, or obviously you apply the load here, and this thing is going to wobble in this way. And let's just continue here. And here, what we see. So the areas which you see red here is the areas that uh, the structure is compromised. And here you also have something that's called a safety factor. So again, safety factor is a parameter in manufacturing and design. So it depends on how sensitive that component is. It could be something 1.5 to 5. And I. If I increase this to let's say 3, so of course I get more red areas here and that shows that the integrity of this component is more compromised. Uh, there are a couple of other options here. Let's go to show displacement and this clearly shows that when this moves here or this actually load, loads the plot, flight, so this area we have the most amount of displacement and this is this displacement and needless to say this area blue area because it's already near to the area that we have defined as a fixed this has the least amount of displacement uh, so this is uh, one is stress and that's kind of interesting as well so you see uh, this shows our uh, graph that where the load is uh, applied this is our yield strength right here and as you can see the material is the deformation is more than the plastic deformation and the stress is more than yield stress 
that's why it, it is here and of course uh, the highest values of load is right at this point here and you can see that these areas are and you can go here as a matter of fact here so it, it again it makes it makes complete sense because you apply the load here this is the furthest distance you have the most amount of the, the longest arm and create most uh, moments and that's why the failure happens from here and of course if I change this one to 5 so you can see everything is um, almost red and still I have in this area my failure so after you've done that so you can say stop animation and you can say I'm done so you can also generate a report here so this report could be HTML report or other forms here for some reason it's pretty slow and it doesn't show but it still is working as you see here um, it, it asks you what format of report you would like to create as here so you can have a different format you can generate that cancel that uh, you can also uh, generate drawing uh, files here which it has uh, basically this particular extension that stands for the report I guess this is as far as simulation concerns um, if you have a component you want to play with it it's a good idea uh, you just try to change the load you know the fixture you can have more than one fixture and always you can go back here and modify your uh, setup or you can uh, start a new simulation uh, and this will conclude our uh, very short simulation tutorial as I mentioned uh, we will have a more comprehensive tutorial in a later time thank you